morning my dear student this is the part three of chapter three squares and square roots in part two we studied up to property three now today we shall start with property four which states that between the squares of the numbers n and n plus one there are twice n non-perfect square numbers suppose we have a number 9 then the next number will be n plus 1 that is 9 plus 1 10 so 9 square is 81 and 10 square is 100 so according to the property between 81 and 100 there are 2n that is 2 into 9 equal to 18 numbers of non-perfect square numbers. Let us see if this is true or false. I have given one question. How many non-perfect square numbers between 4 and 5? 4 I can, I can assume it as n and 5 is n plus 1. Here, n equal to 4, therefore non-perfect square numbers will be 2 into n, that is 2 into 4, that is 8. Question number 2, how many non-perfect square numbers between 11 and 12? 11 is n, so number of non-perfect numbers will be 2 into 11 is 22. Now, 4 square is 4 into 4, that is equal to 16. 5 square is 5 into 5, that is equal to 25. So, the numbers between 16 and 25 are 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 and 24. Total, 8 numbers. The numbers between 11 square and 12 square 11 square is 121, 12 square is 144. So, there should be 22 numbers. Let us check if there are 22 numbers between 121 and 144 or not. So, the numbers between 121 and 144 are 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138, 139, 140, 141, 142, 143. There are total 22 numbers. Now let us check property 5 which states that the square of an even number is always an even number and the square of an odd number is an odd number. This is very simple. The square of an even number is an even number and the square of an odd number is odd number. Here I have given one question. Determine whether the square of each of the following number is even or odd. How to check if a given number is even or odd? If the last digit of the given number is divisible by 2, then the number is even. If it is not exactly divisible by 2, then it is an odd number. 79 is an odd number. So, according to property 5, 79, square of 79 will be an odd number. Number 2, 2826 is an even number. So, its square will also be an even number. Now, property 6, the square of a natural number other than 1 is either a multiple of 3 or exceeds a multiple of 3 by 1. 
पॉइंट नंबर टू द स्क्वेयर ऑफ ए नेचुरल नंबर अदर देन वन इज आइडर मल्टीपुल ऑफ फोर और एक्सिस बाय मल्टीपुल ऑफ फोर बाय वन दस राइट नंबर्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव इन वन कॉलम एंड द स्क्वेयर ऑफ द नंबर्स इन अनदर कॉलम वन नंबर वन द स्क्वेयर ऑफ वन इज वन For number two, the square of uh, two is four, which I can write as three into one plus one or four into one. Number three, for which the square is a nine, and I can write nine is equal to three into three or four into two plus one. Four. Square is equal to sixteen. Sixteen is three into five plus one, or four into four. Five is twenty-five. Three into eight plus one, or four into six plus one. So we can see that it is either multiple of three plus one or multiple of four plus one. property 7 the square of a natural number ending with 5 follows a definite pattern so here this is uh, actually a easy multiplication met, uh, method or easy uh, way to find the uh, square of numbers ending with 5 so i have taken number 25 The square of twenty-five is twenty-five into twenty-five, which is I can write it as the units place. We have five and five. Multiply five and five, you get twenty-five. So directly you write twenty-five at the bottom in hundreds uh, tens place. I shall add one with two. That will become three. So three into two that will give six. Six I shall write in the hundreds place. Question number two. One seventy five into one seventy five. Again I shall use the shortcut method. Units place we have five and five. Five into five is twenty-five. I shall write twenty-five directly uh, in ones place and tens place. Twenty-five. Now with seventeen, I shall add one. Seventeen plus one is eighteen. Then I shall mu multiply eighteen with seventeen, and I get. Three zero six. So in hundreds place, I shall write three zero six. So our answer is three zero six two five. Property eight. The first, the sum of first n odd numbers is n square. First odd number is one. That is one square. Sum of first two odd numbers here. n equal to two, so first two odd numbers are one and three. One plus three is four, which is two square. Sum of first three odd numbers, one plus three plus five, which is nine. Nine is equal to three square. n equal to three here. Sum of first four odd numbers is one plus three plus five plus seven, which is equal to sixteen. Sixteen is Four square. Property nine. Some square numbers follows interesting patterns. One square is one. Eleven square is one to one. One hundred and eleven square is one to three to one. One 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 whole square is one two three four three to one. The sum of digits of every number on right hand side is perfect square. 
so if i write 1 to 1 if i add the digits it will give 4 4 is a perfect square which is equal to 2 square 1 2 3 2 1 if i add the digits i get 9 9 is equal to 3 square 1 2 3 4 3 2 1 if I add the digits, I get 16. 16 is also a perfect square. That is 4 square. Now, now I have given you homework, some homework. And you have to do the homework part and submit it uh, in the evening. And this is uh, all for today's class. Have a good day.